Prince Andrew, uh, we hear, has demanded a summit with the king in the ongoing row over plans to evict him from his home. Royal Lodge. Yes, the Duke of York is said to be fearful that the royal family might be about to switch off his utilities to try and get him out. Let's, They're going to uh, cut him off by the utilities, aren't the, they? This is the allegation. Let's speak to the royal commentator Jenny Bond about all of this. I mean, it almost sounds like sort of he's trying to impose squatters' rights on Royal Lodge, Jenny. Well, he's a very long-standing squatter. He's been there 20 <laughs> years. I mean, I think this is nonsense that they're going to cut off the utilities. Um, the fact of the matter is that um, the king does want to regulate the many houses that he owns and are part of the Crown Estate and make better obvious use of them. Now, Royal Lodge has 30 rooms. Uh, Andrew is nominally at least a, a single man, though his ex-wife, they're the most happily divorced couple you remember in the world, uh, Fergie does live there as well in, in a separate wing. Um, and so it's understood that they have been offered, or at least Andrew's been offered, the smaller property, Frogmore Cottage, which was Harry and Meghan's, but that's just had a lovely renovation, £2.4 million, pounds, do you remember? It's got five bedrooms. I think it's pretty nice on the Windsor estate. Um, but Andrew is resisting going there because I think he feels that, well, I have some, I was going to say a bit beneath him. I'm not sure that's true. I, mean, I have a little bit of sympathy. If you live somewhere for 20 years, you've brought your children up there, you're really happy there. You know, you're not going to be filled with joy at the prospect of being told to move by your big brother. Yeah, and there's a lot of sort of, it's like a little game of chess. They're all moving around, aren't they? Um, the, the theory is that if he moves out, then, then the Waleses can move in. But there was also a school of thought that they might actually opt for Windsor Castle, which was Her Majesty the Queen's favourite. And, you know, King Charles has no intention of heading there. Can you shed an, any light on that? Uh, it's a nice position to be in, isn't it, really? Would yeah. you like a 30 room <laughs> house? Would you like a castle? Uh, <laughs> Not options open to many of us. I think <laughs> they feel, that, well, I know that they, they would like to bring their children up in a relatively normal, inverted commas, surroundings. And that is not a castle. At the moment, they are in quite a small house, Adelaide Cottage. Um, it's only four bedrooms. Um, it's very, very lovely. But uh, they're probably, uh, you know, pushing at the, at the walls a little bit because there's, you know, if they're a family of five and they have to have security. Um, so the obvious move would be for them to go to Royal Lodge, still part of the Crown estate. So I think that's the manoeuvring that's going on. But our, um, Andrew does appear to be kicking and screaming about it. Yeah, well, as you say, we can, we can have some sympathy with him on, on the whole situation, because all of this seems to be changed just for the sake of it. Um, front page of the Mail today and a big page on page three uh, concerns the Queen's dresser, Angela Kelly. Uh, she's been biffed out as well. Uh, from the Windsor Estate. How many houses are there on the Windsor Estate, for goodness sake? <laughs> Uh, there are many houses, but um, Angela, the understanding is that Angela, yes, she has moved up north, but that the king quietly, without publicity, paid for the new house for Angela and has looked after her. And I think that must be true because uh, she was such a close confidant of the, of the, well, more than a confidant, a real friend as well as dresser of, of the late queen. So I think she has been looked after. But I think Charles is um, very aware of the optics of this, of having so many properties. And so the reshuffling is going on. And of course, at a Royal Lodge, the security costs are huge because it's a very big place. Um, and Charles, King Charles, is footing um, Andrew's security bills now because Andrew's a bit stuck for the odd penny or the odd million. And um, so uh, Charles is helping out. And the security costs at uh, the other cottage, Frogmore, would be much cheaper.